Hey guys, Dark Hoses here. With another Star Wars The Old Republic, Money Making Secrets. Yeah, this is how to become a millionaire. It's right at the Coronet Zoo. I'm going to show you my route for both Empire and Republic, so stay tuned here. Alright, this whole money making thing, my whole Star Wars The Old Republic secrets, revolves around security chests. And lots of people are catching on to the security chest thing and so I, I decided to go ahead and reveal my personal route this is my all-time favorite route this giant chest here is equal to two of those little chests it takes about 20 minutes for this thing to spawn but usually uh, one out of three chests the large ones will have a purple or orange item so, or blue you know and you can sell those on the auction house for you know several thousands you know uh, probably the orange ones probably like 25k you know you're gonna make a big chunk of change just on some of the items here what also is nice is not a lot of people know about this little area here but it is catching on uh, I went out today to do a little farming and I saw level 11s <laughs> everywhere there's uh, the Chinese gold farmers are out in full strength but you see that I am on my low level guy here but uh, this was just to make a little cash for, you know, my mount and my starship and get some gear and everything like that. I, I really, I don't come here on my low-level guys, and I don't really exploit this. Because uh, BioWare has said that uh, they're going to get on the gold farmers. And uh, as you see, like, as I'm turning this corner here, there is another chest right here to the right. And I'll show you that on my Republic player. The reason I'm not showing it on my Empire players because I didn't want to grab aggro, but if you're really careful, you can get over to that chest and, and add another chest to this whole route. What I do is I loot that giant chest, and then I take this route over to the park, to Leisure Park. And you see where I am on my map here, and you see where I'm going. I'm going uh, into the park area over here. And as an Empire player, everything in this section is friendly. You can come here as a Republic player, but everything is aggressive and hostile to you. But you can come here, uh, you know, at any level, really, as, you know, if you have a starship and can just freely walk around this zone with no problems whatsoever. You know, you can loot chests all day, and uh, you don't necessarily need to grab that large chest, but it will maximize your profits in a big way if you do. If you do a little effort and, uh, you know, don't mind driving a little bit, you know, because it does take about two minutes to get over to this park. And uh, you see this that building right there. That's where we're headed. There's one chest there, and then there's another chest just, just really just a few feet, not 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 very far at all from this one. And what I will do is, it's not here because I was already uh, looting here. So anyway, uh, this is where it spawns at, and I'll show it to you here right now. There it is. Uh, I just looted it. I should have been more prepared. But there is also competition. You know, you have to be on the eye out for other people doing the same thing. Uh, it's catching on. And that's why I decided to go ahead and release this video. Uh, I've known about this for a while, but, you know, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. You know, and I've made enough money right now that I'm probably, you know, I'm not going to be doing this anymore, really. You know, I pretty much have everything I want. One of the only reasons I even came here on my Empire player was because I started to play my Bounty Hunter and I had no money on the Empire side whatsoever. So this is the route. If you just get that chest by the building there and just follow the river here, it's really close to the next one. And once again, this is for the Empire side right here. I will be showing you my Republic side route as well. If the Republic side route is actually way, way easier. I mean, it's it's like 10 times easier than this this is just my way of doing it and how you can make some serious serious cash uh, each one of the small chests they drop between 2500 and like 4k credits so you have you know a lot of credits coming in in this very short period of time it took me about uh, a few hours I'd say like four or five hours to get about 500k so you're looking at you know probably about 10 hours, a couple of days work to make about a million, you know, I mean, when you're higher level, uh, you, there are better ways, you know, running flashpoints and stuff, but that's if you're into that sort of thing. If you're just kind of lazy like I am and just like to loot chess, well, this is right up your alley. If you just like to tab out, go surf the web for a while, 
yeah anyway you see where I am and that is my whole route and what I'll do is I'll wait for these little chests to respawn because you have 20 minutes before that large chest spawns so you you can catch these little chests twice and then you head back to the giant chest and go get your purples and your oranges all right let's go switch to the Republic side and it's almost the same thing really you can see here I'm at the same area and uh, all these mobs that were you know uh, you know aggressive to my low-level guy they're uh, you know not aggressive to me as my Republic guy you know there, there's very large sections of Corellia that you can walk through without any trouble at all you know because they're part of your faction and you can see I'm right in the same area I was on my Empire player reinforcing the fact that you can come here on Republic side but it's just really not worth it because uh, I'll show you my much easier Republic route I just wanted to show you like you know you can come here as Republic side but when you try to get the chest this is what happens to you you're gonna pull aggro even at level 50 so you know you can choose this route if you don't mind fighting a few more mobs all right here I'm starting at the exact same spot I was before where that giant chest was you know I've already looted it so it's not there and there is also competition you have to be on the lookout for you know the gold farmers and other people just you know doing the same thing you're doing so you know be respectful but if you do see a very low level like a level 11 or something you know report them and go about your day because they're using a program they're not ma they're not doing this by hand like I am and like uh, you know is the legal way to do this you can do this and it's it's not against the rules or anything as long as you're at your keyboard I mean if you're using some bot program well you know bots are bots and you know they should be banned all of them so here this is very easy uh, you just go right out that same exit you went on the Empire side but instead of going to the park area you just have to go around this little blue square at the coordinate zoo it's very very easy and uh, like I said there isn't a whole lot of people doing this but it's catching on and it's catching on quick I'm seeing more and more people you can expect this to be nerfed you know I, I would imagine that within a month this will be gone and all the credits will be gone so you should go out and get you a nest egg you know save up a little bit you know, before it's all gone because they're going to nerf this and nerf it hard there's they're already talking about it and the low level level 10 gold farmers are exploiting it to hell you knew that was going to happen you know can't ever have a good thing without some gold farmer screwing it up so this has been dark hostess for the gamer down hope you enjoy all your credits and uh take care of yourself out there Remember to subscribe and thumbs up videos.